Well, the Celtics' first scrimmage has wrapped up, and things were a little disjointed, as to be expected, for their first game back. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Jimmy Toscano and Bobby Manning. Guys, we talked in a different video that you can find on our YouTube channel about the starting rotation and how they looked on their in their first game back. Let's talk more about the second unit here, because Brad Stevens had said in the bubble that he was most impressed with how those bench players were coming along and how much energy they were bringing to practice. And then the mm -hmm. scrimmage came along and we didn't really see anything very impressive. Guys, what stood out to you or didn't in terms of the bench play? And this Cantor was number one, right? Like he got back in the double figures, had a nice spin move to the basket, put backs, so all the stuff you expect from him. Uh, he's my guy to watch on the bench, of course, uh, you know, among guys who are likely to play no matter what happens in the rotation because, you know, he's going to be your bench scorer. You don't think being a bench scorer, you think you're Jamal Crawford, you think you're, you know, wing guys who are putting up a ton of shots, but this is the guy who early in the season was the other double figure scorer with those starters. So seeing him get back in the form, even though a lot of those points were in the second half garbage time was nice. Um, but the second wing didn't emerge. Uh, Shemi wasn't hitting the shots. Romeo Langford wasn't out there at all. Uh, he had a stomach bug or something, uh, some sort of illness that held them out. So you didn't see a second wing emerge. Javante Green was just in the second half. Like that's who that's a spot that needs to be filled come playoff time. They're not gonna be a deep bench playoff team this year given the people that they have on the team. So I don't know, Grant, Green, Ojale, Langford if he starts playing, like that's the second spot behind Cantor that needs to be filled out. Bob just covered the entire team, so Well no, I <laughs> I got to ask you about Time Lord. Everyone was hyping up Rob. Don't Williams. forget him. We were expecting so much out of him. Lord. Ennis Cantor said he looked incredible in practice. Mm -hmm. And then he, it was very lackluster. I mean, it wasn't, time Lord. Lord. It wasn't awful, but were yeah. you expecting more out of Time Lord's big return? I, I think a lot of what you hear from, from Time Lord's teammates they're not lying, but I think they're trying to get them going a little bit. They're trying to pump them up. They're trying to give them that confidence. And I think it's the talent's definitely there. I did see uh, a couple nice passes. The talent's there. The 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 basketball Passed IQ is well. there. It's it, it's it's just gonna be tapped into a little bit. I mean, he's, he's still raw. And again, these guys, you know, Time Lord hasn't been practicing like every day, like in his own home court gym, working on his game in 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 quarantine. At least I don't think so. Not because he doesn't want to, just because I don't think I don't think a lot of these players had the means to or were able to. So it's not like he's been able to work on certain parts of his game. So I think there's going to be a little bit of of time it's going to take to get back to where he needs to be. Um, I wasn't overly impressed by anybody, but then again, the bench has never overly impressed me. I mean, right. aside from really Marcus Smart when he's coming off there, there's there's it's not a strong bench. There are players that can help, and I do think like Tremont Waters can can be a scorer in, you know, at, at some point for this team. I think he can score in bunches. Um, but they, they don't have a deep bench. They don't have it like – they're not like a veteran bench. They're not, they're not like a, a team that, that is going to go like 10 deep on you and just keep coming. You know, I'm not saying there are many, many that are, but they're certainly not anywhere near that. So I'm looking to just see guys who make like minor improvements. Like, I mean, Bob, Bobby listed, listed a bunch of them. You know, I, I know Shemi's like great defense great defender can hit the occasional three you like to see it, that shot fall down a little bit more but there's not a lot I mean you're you're relying on young guys like rookies Grant Williams Time Lord you mentioned Romeo who didn't play these are guys that they barely have any any experience in the NBA so you really can't count on them at this point I want to where would you play Rob that's the thing for me like I almost imagine a situation where you get him in with the starters there because there's more talent around him. You can yes. get more out of him. But Tice has deserved that spot, and he's earned it this year. So I don't know how you could slide him in there. I wouldn't put him out on Match island with the second him. unit because you don't you don't get him much out of him in that spot either. Like, you're never going right. to see five bench guys like they had in the second half with this team. Right. No, I, I think he, he's a type of guy you see in there when something's going wrong with the other guys. Yeah, right? and, when, you know, I don't when, think he's capable of that either, which I, I – like, he needs Tice guys around who will empower him. When Tice picks up, you know, four fouls in the in, – you know, midway through the second quarter, then you got to start to get creative. Brad Stevens has to, you know, reach into his bag yep. of chips, and that's when you see a guy like, like um, Williams in there. Well, this Garden Report has been sponsored by Masterclass. Get – 
unlimited access to every master class. And as a Garden Report listener, you can get 15% off the annual all nice. access pass. Just go to masterclass.com slash CLNS. For all of our Celtics coverage, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Celtics All Access.